back, everybody. You are tuning into the No Money Show right here on TCC. Now we're going to jump across to the sister island of Tobago, and I am going to be chatting with a teacher and author, and her name is Anissa Brebno. And we are going to be speaking about her book, which <coughs> is called Dust Calls Finding Your Purpose in Your Desert Seasons. Good morning, Anissa. Good morning. How are you? I'm, thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for being with us this morning, and congratulations on the publishing of your book. Thank you. So the name of your book, Dust Calls, Finding Purpose in Your Desert Seasons. That, that, that strikes a note already. Where do you get the inspiration from? <laughs> okay, um, well, about three years ago, um, my dad would have died. I was really close to him. And um, it sent me into a state of depression, sadness, you know, it was withdrawn. And on the outside, you know, you're looking happy everybody's asking me how you're going and you're saying yeah, i'm going okay but really and truly i was, was really torn up and and really sad about it and it, it carried me to that dark place and and people who have lost loved ones um know that place know how it how hard it could be especially when you were really close and and they were the persons who were sort of instrumental in helping you become who you um really will or are and so I realized that as a result of that experience, it, that wasn't the first time I'd been in that place. It's just that I acknowledged and I, I knew that that is where I was. And it um, took me a while to, to pull through it and, and pull myself out of it. And so um, I started writing, but it's not a, just about that experience. I started pulling together stuff I would have been through before. Right. And uh, the place I would have been through before. And um, as I got the inspiration, I, I decided to do a short course on, on writing. Um, and, uh, well, here I am today. It, it originally was called Dancing in the Valley of Baca because it, it's pulled from an inspirational script here in Psalms that speaks about passing through this valley, this desert place, yeah. and coming out of it, you know. And so... I said, well, a lot of people wouldn't really identify what Baca was. Um, so it, it switched to when the dust calls, whenever right. stagnancy calls, when you find yourself in that desert place, what do you do? How do you move? How do you not stay there and die? Yeah. You know, so. Um, and, and what's important that you said there, and I, and I want to ask you a bit of a personal question, like in the time <sighs> when you were in your darkest place, how did you find the strength? What did you use to get out of it? Right. One of the things that, um, well, for those who have started reading the book, I draw, I, I do it in an allegorical setting. So one of the things that, that, that my faith and God really helped me with was every time I was there, a script of somebody who had been through that also came to mind, but it came to me in such a, a story setting as if I had met them. So whenever um, somebody called or I, I was reading um, a script here, in the Bible, it was as if I was meeting the person who had gone through that. So, for instance, um, with the death, I, I was reading about the story of Ruth and Naomi, and it was as if I was seeing the brokenness, seeing how she was sad, how she had to go through what she went through. Right. And by meeting her, in a sense, it was as, wow, um, you're not alone in this. People have gone through this before. And, you know, sometimes we could get so caught up in how we are feeling that we fail right. to realize that. Um, we're not the first and the last who will go through this. There are others who, are, who have been through this. And um, if they pull through it, then you could pull through it too, too you know? And that's the thing, you know, just having that hope and um, knowing that, yeah. you know, just building the, the, the will within yourself to know that once you want to get through it, you can get through it. And there yes. are resources that yes. you can use to get the strength you need to. Yes. And it's about, it's about really, like you said, finding hope and making a decision. I think one of the, the, the critical things for me was shaking myself out of it. Right. Um, thankfully for friends, um, families, that support system, my faith, you know, really helped me to shake myself out of it and decide, hey, I, I, can't, I can't stay here. I mean, besides just um, the passing of my dad, I would have been in a place where I just felt like, why am I still here? Where are all the dreams that I had from before? I, I, yeah. I used to love doing this. I wanted to, to do this. And why am I still here? Why is nothing happening for me? Why am I just, you know, stuck in this place where I, I can't seem to move? I'm okay, but this is not where I want to be, right. you know? And learning how to say, you know what? 
even though this is where you're, you don't want to be, this is not where you should be and you need to keep moving. You need to stop the, um, stop fe feeling, sorry, stuck in, in depression and frustration and just move. And so the book is essentially about moving. And I use dance metaphors because I'm involved in, in dance. And it was one of the things that kind of helped me come through um, understanding how dance is related to life. Because dance is movement, that's the, the one of the phrases I coined. Dance is movement, and movement is life. And when it, whenever you're in the desert, that's what you crave more for. You want to live, you want to have your life back, and, and not just feel like you're in a state of death. And and you want to move and get out of it. Uh, Anissa Brebno, just before we go, how do we find your book? Sorry, I'm, I'm not hearing you. Sorry. How, how do we find your book? How do, okay, um, well, the book is available on Amazon. Um, as well as uh, bookstores in Tobago. It's soon I will be um, doing a, a book launching. But um, And after the book launching, I plan to introduce the book to several bookstores in Trinidad and Tobago. Excellent. But it well, is we available wish you on Amazon. All the very best with that. Thank you for joining us this morning, telling us about your book, Dust Calls, Finding Purpose in Your Desert Seasons. Again, it can be found on Amazon, and uh, there will be a book launch soon, so stay tuned for that.